Thank you. I'm Denise Sunderland. I'm the principal here at Jacob Weens, and we are really excited to have everyone here. Um, I'm excited to be a part of this opportunity to see a little snapshot of what Jacob Weens was like in 2001. Um, before I introduce our speakers for today, I want to see just by show of hands, who was an employee here at Jacob Weens in 2001? Because I'm seeing faces and people. Yeah. Lots of people, so that that is awesome. All right, before we get started, we're going to have our student leadership team um, join us up here and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Right hand on heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. So just to put a little bit of perspective into what we're going to be seeing today in the time capsule, the students that just led us in the leadership are ages 10, nine. Those students who were 10 and 9 22 years ago are now in their 30s um, with this time capsule. So that when I thought about that when preparing for today, that was kind of exciting to think about like, wow, they're full, they're full grown adults before when they place this stuff in their time capsule. Um, today we have some special speakers. We have our deputy superintendent, uh, Darren Waters is going to be speaking. We also have our um, director a professional development, uh, David Howland, Dr. David Howland. He was the assistant principal at the time when the school, when the time capsule was uh, put together in 2001. And we also have our current kindergarten teacher, Melissa Mercer, who was a teacher in 2001. So let's welcome uh, Mr. Waters up. <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon. I was, um, uh, got some prepared comments here, but thinking that the kids that did this are now in their 30s, um, that kind of, <laughs> man, man, what happened? I used to be the youngest one in the room. I'm not sure what happened, right? <laughs> well, good afternoon. It's an honor to be here in celebration of the rich history that belongs to Jacob Wings Elementary School and the students and staff who have come to know this as their second home over the past 20 plus years. For many, 20 years ago may seem like a lifetime, yet there are also so those of us who say 20 years feels like it was just yesterday. For me, it seems just like yesterday. I was working as a high school assistant principal serving students similar to the ones uh, that we have on the campus right now, albeit slightly bigger. Um, no students were not arriving to uh, school on a horse and buggy. That, they, they actually, uh, not, not then, talked to my dad, that was then. But um, the truth is, um, in the wake of 9-11, students and staff continued to find ways uh, to make the school day fun and engaging. As you, those of us that are old enough to remember, that was like 9-11, a uh, year that that happened, and that really kind of shaped a, certainly a generation in how, thing, how we look at things. Um, certainly with high hopes and, and for a bright future, um, those, those students and, and faculty pressed on towards the promise of tomorrow. Today we meet under similar circumstances. In the wake of COVID shutdowns, the world is quite different. However, the spirit of our staff and students remains the same. In fact, while there have been many changes over the past 20 plus years, I am proud of the fact that one thing has always remained true, our commitment to providing a high quality education for all students in our community. It's our promise. It's a promise that has been fulfilled by the dedicated teachers and administrators who have worked tirelessly over many years to provide an environment where every student can learn and grow in the safe and supportive space. It's a promise that has been fulfilled by the students themselves, students that have worked hard to overcome challenges, who've done their best despite sometimes overwhelming odds, and have always held on to hope for what's possible even when it seems impossible. To the students, parents, and staff of Jacob Weens, thank you for joining us today. Without a doubt, today's time capsule will reveal, uh, reveal will be full of many fun surprises. And part of that might be the fun surprise of watching them try to open it. I'm excited <laughs> to watch that. Um, as we share this time together, may you be filled with uh, joy as we remember the days past and hope as we look forward to the many great years ahead. At this time, I'd like to welcome Jacob Ween's kindergarten teacher, Melissa Mercer, to share some remarks.
Thank you guys for coming. Sorry, my voice is kind of scratchy, but I'm going to make it through. Um, first and foremost, Jacob Weens was an incredible place to be. When we um, decided and embarked on this new journey, it was the first new school that had been opened in Hemet Unified in quite some time. All of the teachers and staff members, we, uh, we had a family there. We had the fun, exciting things like picking a mascot, picking our school colors, all that fun stuff. And we were all so excited. It really translated into student engagement and student excitement about being somewhere new and creating a whole new environment. We were trying to lay the foundation for this um, exemplary school and I think we did that and we had some really great years over there in regards to the time capsule if I remember correctly our leader Fred Sumter decided we were putting in um, a concrete uh, I don't know space to put our plaque on and he thought what a great idea to put a time capsule in there and so it was really exciting a couple years back on Facebook we had a student ask us what happened to that time capsule and everyone started thinking again wow what did we put in that man it's been 20 years and then this year we were excited because the time capsule was unveiled and we get to find out what's in there I've talked to some of my friends and colleagues and honestly we only think we might know one or two things. I do think I know what Mr. Halland put in, but I'm not quite sure. But we're excited. Um, we don't remember. Um, like I said, Jacob Weens was a special place. It still is a special place, but it was really exciting to build it from the ground up. And that was an honor that I'm glad to still be a part of today. So thank you for letting me speak. And I'd like to introduce Dr. David Howland. So excited to be here today. Um, I wrote down a few things because there's so many memories I have of uh, this school, and I didn't want to forget them as far as, and there's just so many. So I just wanted to, to just kind of make sense of what I had to say, right? So um, I was a part of Little Lake Elementary School. Um, that's actually where I went to school as a kid. And I was really excited to um, get hired as a teacher there. And at the time, Fred Sumter was my principal, and he hired me as a new teacher. And so I think it was about the fourth or fifth year there as a teacher that um, Fred was asked to start this brand new school, Jacob Weens. And um, at the time, we brought over Margaret Jimenez. There she is. Uh, she was the office manager over at Hem Elementary, and we were able to start the new school, Jacob Weens, which was actually right behind Dartmouth. So it was a brand new school that was um, these portables, and it currently is HDLA, so the Hemet Dual Language Academy is over there now. And so um, Fred was a really unconventional uh, man and an amazing leader. And um, as we put that school together, the, old, the school where we used to be, um, one of the memories I have was of riding in a truck from the district office. And I, I know they've gotten rid of this truck because it was really old. And it only had two seats. And there was three of us. So I was sitting on a five-gallon bucket in the middle between Fred <laughs> and Margaret as we went to Sam's Club and picked up some furniture and brought back supplies to the school. And then the school um, was gonna open in a week or so and there were still trenches. So the teachers were like jumping over trenches. Can you believe that, Darren? They're jumping over trenches and getting to the classrooms to get their classroom set up. Um, and um, yeah, there's other stories there, but that was a very interesting time. Um, and Fred was really an unforgettable, larger-than-life man who was passionate about um, doing all he could for a school. He was the first one on campus and the last one to leave. And I'm forever grateful to Fred because he was the person who hired me not only as a teacher, um, but I was the counselor, actually, at Jacob Weens when it first started. I was split between Little Lake and uh, Jacob Weens as the counselor. And then the second year, I became the assistant principal and was there full time. Um, and so I just looked to him as someone who gave me this opportunity. I'm very grateful for that. Um, during that first year, we became like family. Most of the teachers were in their, their early 20s. Um, had, and because as this new school started, of course, teachers around, camp, around, this, around the district didn't want to move, right? They're like, no, I have seniority. I'm going to stay here. And so we just sort of became this family uh, that started this school. And there was a few of us that weren't in our 20s at the time, uh, but most of us were in our 20s at the time. Um, and there was about 24 teachers, I think. It was a pretty small staff when we first opened up. And um, all of our students were bused in from this, this neighborhood. We actually, they, the school was behind Dartmouth, but all the students, um, every single one was bused over to that campus. So we were super excited to get this new campus. And I think it was in year five or so 
when this campus was, um, was built. And this was the old, this piece of land here was the old um, Hemet High Stadium for football. And then um, Melissa was reminding me that it was also West Valley for a while. So when, that, when West Valley became a school, um, they also used this, this um, plot of land for that. So we are on what used to be the football field. And as they built this, for those of you who've been in Hemet for a while, um, this area has a lot of kind of unstable land. And so they had to put these huge columns under this. So like this is the safest place to be in an earthquake, this campus, because there's these huge columns under here that um, added to the cost as they built that, that campus. So um, what else did I wanna say? Oh, so we did a lot of um, special things for our kids. And uh, one of the things we did at the old Jacob Weens to get them ready for this school was we had, I think it was called Fired Up was the name of the company or the, the business in town that did little tiles for each of the kids. So each kid did their own tile. And if you go into Denise's library, um, you will see this mural up there that is all these little um, tiles that, that each of us made that were a part of the staff at that time became, before we came to this, this campus. And so um, as for what is in the time capsule, that is a really good question. I think I put a CD in there, but I really don't know. And I think that's what happens after you turn 50, you kind of forget this stuff. <laughs> so um, um, and I'm just amazed at how many people don't remember what's in there. So I'm kind of anxious. 22 years. OK, 22 years. <laughs> And so um, Denise asked me about, there is a signature on here that says Bob Knight. And she's like, we can't find this person. Who is this Bob Knight? <laughs> and so uh, Fred Sumter was a huge um, Bobby Knight fan from the Hoosiers, right? The basketball team. And that, he was there, like that was his hero. And he actually, um, what is that called? March Madness, right? When they, when, so during that time, like you didn't want to go into his office because the games were playing and um, <laughs> And so he was a huge Bobby Knight fan, and so that is why Bob Knight's name is on that. So um, thank you so much, Denise, for organizing this. It's really fun to come back and reminisce about how the school started. And um, before I um, sit down, can we have, like, the staff that was here in 2001 that started the original Jacob Weens come up? So I know Melissa and Christina, they were teachers with me over at Little Lake. We were, they were kinder teachers, but I know there's a few more. Hey. Thank you, everyone, for sharing those memories. That's fun. I didn't know this was the safest place. I feel better on today's <laughs> with today's wind. Um, just to let everybody know, this event was originally planned for outside, so we we moved it all indoors here. So it feels good. We won't blow away. That's that's great. And yes, um, Dr. Helen referred to some of the names. Pronoun. I'm going to quick lift it up so you can see. So the original staff um, signed the capsule and put their names on it. So we pulled all of the names off um, in an attempt to invite them to today's event. And yes, Bob Knight, I was like, oh, interesting. And we looked and looked. <laughs> Not knowing the joke was on me that it was the famous, the famous coach. Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Joke's on us. 22 years later, we're, we're sitting there looking. I also want to point out, before we cut open the time capsule and finally reveal what everyone was putting in there, um, on the back table that's being hosted by our PTO with uh, cookies and refreshments, um, there is also a framed picture of the groundbreaking, um, the team or the group of people that had the groundbreaking. We found that recently. Yes, thank you for holding that up when we were going through one of the storage rooms and, and cleaning out, and I was like, this is perfect timing. Um, I feel like Mr. Sumter had this all planned for me. 22 years later, he's like, I'm gonna give that new principal a job to do, and, and here we are. All right, so we have our maintenance and operations department here to cut this open for us, so we're, we're looking forward to seeing this.
it in this, like if somebody put a Twinkie in there and if it's in still in perfect condition, um, you know, just kind of like, so, you guys want to come up and help me with the unwrapping of this? All right, we're going to invite everybody up um, to come look at everything in the time capsule. But before we do that, I want to give a, a big thank you again um, to Mr. Waters for speaking, to uh, Ms. Mercer, and to um, uh, Mr. Howland for speaking today. I also want to thank our PTO for providing the refreshments and thank the communications department for helping get everybody um, live streamed and joining us um, via the the cameras, I don't even know what they call them, and for all the support we got from maintenance and operations for opening the capsule, and also from our printing department for the beautiful banners and for our wrap. So a huge thank you to everyone involved. Um, from the time capsule, there's a letter that I just pulled out, and it's kind of cute. And it says, Dear people from the future, uh, we are a fifth grade class with 30 kids. There are four of us writing this letter. Tyler Case, Tyler Brooks, Ismael Duran, and Eric Ayala are writing this. We are the ones that are chosen to write this letter to the people of the future. It's 2002, February. The time is 9.01. Tyler is 11, and he's the writer. And Tyler Brooks is 11, and he's the editor. Ismael is the co-editor, and Eric finds information and gives it to the writer. So now we know. It says, if you found this letter, which we did, you found the time capsule, and you are the future people who know how we lived. The fad that is in this year is skateboarding, and I think it's, I think it's binding. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we are going to put a mini skateboard in the capsule for you so you know what skateboards look like. <laughs> I feel like saying, Tyler, my dear, those skateboards were along long, long before 2000. Um, your past friends, Tyler, Ismail, Tyler, and Eric. So very cute. So come on up if you want to come see everything that's in the time capsule. And we want to thank you again for attending our Jacob Weens time capsule event. <laughs>